Hey guys, Joss Allen from GAK.co.uk here. Today with a really, really cool video, an amplifier that I've been really, really looking forward to, the Fender Bass Breaker. So the Fender Bass Breaker comes in a multitude of different sort of wattages and configurations that you can get. Obviously right here with me now, I have the uh, Bass Breaker 45 watt combo. So let's run through the, uh, the top panel of this amplifier. So starting from the left, you have the three different inputs. You've got normal, both of them at the same time, and bright. So when it means by um, sort of both at the same time, it means, you know, when in, on the old school amplifiers like Fender Basements or even Marshall hand-wired amplifiers, you could link the two channels with the two volumes to achieve sort of different sounds. And especially when you have both volumes on at the same time, you can achieve sort of the bottom end and the top end and create a little bit of drive on the amplifier if you really give it some. And um, just to achieve that whole volume mix or the tonal differences that you can achieve by using both volumes. We're plugged into just the normal setting because I wanted to focus on the clean and how well the amp takes pedals. So let's move on. So the first knob we have is the volume normal, which is the one that we're using at the moment. Uh, we have the volume bright, which is the third input that you can use. Um, the next one, which is one of the most important features of the amplifier, is the output from one watt to 45 watts. So the amazing thing is, say with a Fender Bassman, um, a 59 Fender Bassman, you would never really be able to control the sort of breakup of the amplifier unless you just cranked it, unless you just dimed it. Um, which is, once again, is a really, really cool thing. Some of my favorite guitar players still use those amplifiers like Mike McCready from Pearl Jam. Just an absolute awesome tone by just turning those Bassmans up on full. But the amazing thing about this is that you can have it on one watt and then you can really give the normal or the volume bright or both of them at the same time, really push them and achieve that crazy cool vintage style overdrive. Um, I have the output set about 12 o'clock at the moment, so halfway to the 45 watts. Then we have our EQ. We've got treble, bass, middle and presence. Uh, on the back of the amplifier, there isn't any sort of effects looping or anything like that. It's just straight up stick it in and play. The only switch on the back is um, the ohm rating to choose if you wanted to have an extension cabinet with this combo. So um, the amplifier is run by two EL34 power tubes. And so once again, I said it's a 45 watt amplifier. It's got two 12 Celestian V12 type uh, speakers in the amplifier. And it's based on the 59 basement circuitry. So the really, really cool thing with it is that it takes pedals unbelievably well. Now, the reason why I'm sitting on a much shorter um, chair today and I brought the camera down a little bit is because I'm just too short to use pedals um, in the high stall. So I wanted to grab a couple of pedals so I could show you what it sounds like with it. Um, on my right, I've got for a overdrive, I have the Super Badass Distortion by MXR. And then I also grabbed um, the Joe Bonamassa Wah, because if you don't know, as I usually say, I am unapologetically a massive Joe Bonamassa fan. So I wanted to grab his Wah pedal so we could have a mess around with that. The guitar we're using today is a Fender Custom Shop Journeyman Strat with Fender Custom Shop pickups, five-way selector switch, um, rosewood fretboard, and it just sounds and plays absolutely beautifully. So the best way to go about doing this amplifier is just to get stuck in and show you what it can do.
Absolutely beautiful. So, as I said before, that was all the EQ set to 12 o'clock, pointing directly up. So, um, let me show you sort of um, the attenuation or the output. So, at the moment, as I said, it's pointing at 12. If I put it all the way back to one watt and show you that quickly. And then show you as I gradually bring it up. So it's an incredibly useful amp. One thing I have to stress, obviously 45 watts is a lot, this amp is loud. It is very, very loud. At the moment, with it pointing directly at 12 o'clock, it is very, very loud in this little room I have here. I have people peering through the window looking at me to see what it actually is. So let's have a mess around with the EQ. I'll bring back the, uh, the treble and the presence a touch and just bring up the bass and middle and show you that whole swampy sort of dark sound that the um, amplifier can achieve. So the good thing about the amplifier is that it's an incredibly touch sensitive amplifier. So it's a very, very dynamic feeling and sounding amp. So let me show you how sort of the cutting edge side of things can go. So let me move up the treble, bring back the bass again. I'm going to keep the mids where they are, but bring up the presence. And I'm going to use the bridge humbucker, the bridge humbucker, the bridge single coil, sorry, on the Strat and show you what that sounds like. So the really cool thing is that once you start moving in the presence and the treble and keeping the mids up there, it almost gives this naturally compressed sort of feel to it, which I really, really love about sort of any amplifier. When you, it's like when you pick up a really good telly or a really good strat from the custom shop range, you get this almost organic um, sort of compression to it, which I really, really like with those sort of guitars. And an amplifier that achieves that along with those guitars sounds great. So as I said, I have a super badass distortion with me and a Joe Bonamassa wah. So let me show you what the amp sounds like when you put a bit of drive in front of it and we'll dial back and we'll really crank it and see how the amp sort of changes. So this is just the clean signal one more time again. And this is with the pedal. Thank <laughs> you. 
So that sounds awesome. Really, really cool, really good sounding pedal, but the amp just really takes the pedal really well. So the distortion's at about 12 o'clock right now. So if I bring down the distortion, so it's just a quarter of the way up and see what the difference is. show you how um, you can control the amplifier with just the volume on the guitar. One thing to stress right now is that there's quite a lot of drive set on the distortion and the amp is that clean now that I've dialed off on the guitar. So it's an unbelievably usable amplifier. Just set it to one thing and then you can add all the pedals you want and just control everything via the guitar, um, which I think is a really, really organic way of playing, um, which I really enjoy either playing myself or listening to. So it's really, really cool. I think it shows a, a complete mastery over the instrument when you really see someone who knows how to do that properly. So now we've tried out um, the, over uh, the distortion, sorry. Let's see what it sounds like with the Bonamassa Wah, just on the clean setting for now. So, as you can hear, just once again proves my statement that the, the amplifier takes pedals really, really well, which is um, a really great addition to the sort of the Fender lineage. Um, everything that they've released so far has been so good, um, with, you know, from the Fender Hot Rods having the three channels from the Supersonics, which is my personal favorite, um, and now, you know, bringing back something that has always been loved in that 59 basement circuitry, which I really, really like. So as I said before, um, the amplifier right now we have is the Bass Breaker 45, which is their sort of flagship model, the main sort of uh, model that they have. They also have it in a head unit, but they also have them in a seven watt version, and they also have them in a 15 watt version, both combos and heads, which is a really, really cool thing because say if you had, I don't know, like an orange cabinet that you really loved with the vintage 30s, and you wanted to run something like this with the EL34s through it, then you can do so. So which is really cool either in a combo with the extension or with just the head unit. So right now we have the models in stock and ready to order. So um, I hope you enjoyed the demo guys and I hope that you get to get your hands on one of these and try it out for yourself. It's a really, really cool piece from the guys at Fender and it's a definite thumbs up from us at GAK. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Cheers guys. <laughs>